video because it is quick. <laughs> so, making bread. I had to get my husband to come and help me move the giant to the other room. But we just made apple cider vinegar, which is so simple, but so great to have. Nothing like homemade, um, homemade anything. Homemade anything is the best. So right now, we're going to do this quick and simple bread. The, um, some of the things you need for bread. What's up, YouTube? What's up, Facebook? Am I doing that right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Few things that you need. I mean, um, the, the things we use anyway. You ready? You ready? Hey, Nikki. Hey, Nancy. What's up, Soil family? So the few things that you need is flour. We use honey. You can use sugar or whatever type of sweetener you use. Milk. Oil. Baking powder. And salt. And sesame seed. Um, ready for some bread. We use the triology, which is hemp seed, flax seed, and chia seed blend. And some of our things actually use that for our bread, especially like if I'm making hamburger, hot dog buns, or just a loaf of bread, or whatever. And smoothies, I use that in our smoothies too because of all the benefits and all those seeds. Um, so I have my seeds, and we are ready. A bowl, a sifter. Where is my? And a spoon. Simple. And measuring cups. Because I'm not going to do y'all like I do myself and add all everything right now. Oh, yeah. So we go to Sam's Club. We just get this big old thing of flour that lasts. Oh, I just said I wasn't going to do that. That lasts us a while. So we're going to start with four-ish. Cups of flour. Y'all hear me say ish. About four cups of flour. And I'm putting this in a bowl. I'm not using a mixer or any of that good stuff. I'm putting this in a bowl. So that's all we're going to use. I have. Some measuring spoons, baking powder, take two tablespoons ish. One, two, a little bit over two tablespoons of baking powder. These are all your um dry ingredients first. So you know we use. Redmond's real salt because it's the best. It will not run your blood pressure up. It will not drive you crazy, but it's the best. Um, salt. I just need a teaspoon of salt. I got my oven preheating to 425. I'm at the bottom of the barrel on this. But we got more. One teaspoon of salt. So we got our flour, our baking soda, and our salt done in a bowl. And I'm going to sift it without making a big mess. So baking is a science. Can't just throw I know, Nikki, it's supposed to be, you know, you shouldn't just throw in stuff when you're baking, but Anything like me. You get a little hard-headed sometimes and try things. That's probably why um I can't get it together with making pie crust. I don't know how to make pie crust, y'all. Please, somebody pray for me. Help me. <laughs> so when I get to the bottom of mines, whatever I have in here, which is probably just salt and baking powder, I just push it through. Simple. Lisa, when I get to your house next week, 
No, you can send me pictures. I want to hear all about your bread making. All about your bread making. So that's all we have in here. Flour, baking powder, and salt. Right? Now I'm going to put all of my wet ingredients, which your, your sugar is a wet ingredient, but I'm not using sugar. Probably should bake it together. Oh, okay. <laughs> what type of salt are you using? So we use Redmond's Real Salt. Redmond's Real Salt. We do have a discount code for Redmond's Real Salt if you want to purchase some. I just need to be better and drop it more often. Hey, Verdi. Um, now we're going to do our wet ingredients. I classify honey as my wet ingredient. You know, you can put your sugar in with your flour and stuff. It really doesn't matter. You're just going to mix it. I mean, I ain't going to say it really doesn't matter. You're just going to mix it all in together anyway. Normally, you want your milk to be room temperature so you can throw it in the microwave and nuke it a few minutes. Two cups, two and two and a quarter cup is what I'm gonna put it here. Two and one quarter cup of milk. And a quarter cup of oil. My honey, <laughs> I would say I, I usually use about two tablespoons of honey, which is about six pumps, seven, sometimes eight pumps. They have good ready-made pie crust at the grocery store. Look, Nikki, they do. I put three tablespoons in. What type of bread are you making today? This is just regular loaf bread. Um, nothing special, nothing fancy. It's just regular loaf bread. Easy. I'm not using a mixer because I don't have a stand mixer. My husband had, maybe my birthday coming up, y'all. Maybe Bobby will buy me a stand mixer. <laughs> but I do everything by hand. So you got all of those ingredients, honey, vegetable oil, milk, flour, baking powder, and salt. Need some of that salt. Glad I caught you live. I will drop that um, link in the community tab for Redmond's for you. So it is thick, but you don't have to knead this or anything. So just mix this good. Make sure you get all your flour and everything. I may or may have not fixed the stars thing over on Facebook. Every time I go live on Facebook, I don't know what I'm doing. I just go live. Um, put a mixer on your wish list. Okay, Verdi. I can do that. I try to keep my wish list, you know, at a decent price. So I try not to put things that are overly expensive on our wish list. And mixers can be expensive. So I put it on my wish list to buy a mixer, please. But I probably, and see, the thing is, I probably won't use it much. To me, a mixer is almost like a dishwasher. I had a dishwasher, y'all. My dishwasher was full of um, grocery bags. <laughs> Never made one out of bread mixer. Is that cheating? Look, I I don't have a mixer, so everything I make, I'm kneading and doing and with my hand. But this, you don't have to do that. You ain't gotta wait for it. Mix my ingredients. Done. I'm going to spray it. I got some 
spray here. I'm going to spray my pan good. Told y'all y'all were going to be mad at how fast and easy this is. Okay. There's our bread, our dough, which you can freeze, which I highly recommend, especially, you know, if you are a busy person and you just want to grab and go freezer meals and, like, I'm making breakfast burritos today because I can just throw those in my husband. Um, Lunchbox, and he can go. I am going to even this out in this pan. A little bit. We use the dishwasher every day. My dishwasher was full of grocery bags, y'all. <laughs> My mama used to come with, I broke my back when I was living in my townhouse and my mom, okay, so I got my bread down. I'm going to take my seeds, a whole lot of them. And sprinkle it on top. A whole lot of them. Some people don't like seeds or, you know, sesame seed or nothing on their bread, which is perfectly fine. It's your bread. Put it in the oven for 30 minutes. I'll be right back. Alexa, set timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. Now I can check with y'all. So, I love my dishwasher, Debbie. Three, I mean, um, four twenty-five for thirty minutes, so it's about an hour. This is super easy. Yeah, make some bread tonight. I'm just saying, super easy. Um, I love a dishwasher. I've never used it. I have a dishwasher. Me, Mary, I had a dishwasher. My mama, um, when I hurt my back, and my mom came to take care of me, she said, "Well, will you um?" She said, oh, yeah, steaks. Oh, my goodness. She said, well, where are your grocery bags at? You don't keep your grocery bags? I said, yeah. They in the dishwasher. <laughs> when you open the dishwasher, I had so many grocery bags in there, they would be falling out. I said, they in the dishwasher. She said, you don't use the dishwasher? No. No. I just, you know, it's just good for housing stuff. So I always say, like, when a storm or something come in, what's wrong with this thing over here on Facebook? Um, When a storm come in, I always say that's a great place to keep important papers, important stuff, because it might flood, you know, but the dishwasher won't get wet because no water in, no water out, right? So I was kind of happy when we bought this house. We didn't have a dishwasher. I wouldn't use it. It'd just be somewhere for me to, it would be good for me to keep stuff like jobs and, but I find somewhere for it. I do. I missed the beginning. What are the ingredients for your bread? So, hey, Autumn, I try to remember to take the bags back to Publix. I got a whole thing of bags. We always need bags for something. <laughs> um, bayou Sugar Garden Oh, down in the bayou So the ingredients for This um, Bread is very simple This is it You got flour So first I put Oh, I, I'm out of the um, frame <laughs> First, I put my flour in. Sorry, Facebook. I mix my flour, my baking powder, and my salt. I sift all of that together 
and then I came back with my milk and I'll put all of the um, ingredients in the description. Facebook, I think I have to put it in the comments. Um, then I came back with my milk, my oil, and I use honey. You can use flat on um, sugar. Whatever sweetener you use, that's what you can use um, for your your bread. Pop it in the oven for 30 minutes. On 425, I'll cover it for another 30 minutes at about 300 degrees, and then your bread is done. I don't know about sitting on here for an hour because y'all know I don't like holding people up. And I feel like I'd be holding people up. But it takes about an hour. The first hour you want to go, I mean, the first 30 minutes you want to go three, 425 for the first 30 minutes. The next 30 minutes, you want to lower your temperature down to 300, 325 and um, cover it with aluminum foil for another 30 minutes and then you're done. Simple. No eggs, no kneading, no no rise time, no mixer. <laughs> Easy bread. So I don't want to hear nobody say, I don't know how to make bread. It's too difficult, Andale. It is not difficult. It's very easy. So I always talk about this. Um, I don't know if y'all have the same issue I have with this thing over here called a dish strainer. I don't, I have never emptied my dish strainer. How many people empty their dish strainer? Maybe I need some prayers. Sound like my kind of bread? Simple, right? Simple. Um, how many people have a dish strainer like this? Where they wash their dishes and they put their dishes in it. How many people have one of these things? Oh, Facebook, you can't see it. So what I want to know, like this thing over here, my dish cream. See that Facebook? I love fresh warm bread. Oh, my God, with some butter, some honey butter. Easy peasy. I cannot empty that thing for nothing. My husband is good at emptying it. You know, I don't like him to wash my dishes, but he will empty it. Mine's is never empty. Okay, I don't feel bad. My dish washed you. I don't feel bad. I can never empty that thing. It is always full. And so my husband will say, why you don't empty this? Defeat the purpose to me. Like, I need it full. Yes, I do always empty it. Oh, man, Verdi, I need you to pray for me. I need to empty mine, I guess, sometimes. Sometimes I'll say, let me empty this thing. But I know where everything is, so I kind of leave it like it is. You know, I'm always cooking and always doing, so <sighs> there's always something in ours. Yeah, I never made bread without yeast. Is the texture more cake-like? It's bread. It's bread. Actually, let me show you. Because I made some for the chickens, too. This is the chicken's bread. <laughs> so, and it's the same, same thing. This is what it'll look like. The bread, the chickens are a little bougie. This is what your bread will look like after an hour. I'm not going to say it's cake-like. It's a loaf of bread. So it's just a loaf of bread. So with them, I just crumble it up and throw it out to them when they out um, perusing. But it's just bread. And it's simple. You should try it. You know, I made that, mad that the chickens had a, yeah, yeah, um, Dave drooling. <laughs> it's so simple. And that's the thing. Even like I used to, me and Andell, Andell does not cook most of the time. My wife will hand wash all the dishes, but never start the dishwasher after she put the dishes in. Oh, poor thing. What's up, resilient dad? That's all right. That's all right. She's getting all the work done. Because I don't cook 
I leave my daughter and granddaughter. I leave it to my granddaughter. I do all the cooking. Um, but, and Dale doesn't cook a lot. She cooks certain things, but her husband do a lot of the cooking. And I would tell her last year, I said, you can make biscuits for me. She's like, girl, I don't know how to cook. I ain't about to mess up no food. Two ingredients. Two ingredients you can make biscuits. She said, I can't do it. Flour and um, buttermilk. Make some biscuits. She was like, no, I don't want to mess them up. And she did it. And she was like, oh, my God, I made the biscuits. And they turned out great. I'm telling you, this bread is simple. Make it and let me know what you think. It's simple. I just showed you what the bread. This is what it'll look like after an hour. You know, it'll fall out of the pan. You know me with hot hands. I just flip it over and put it on the cutting board. Perfect bread. It's a loaf of bread. This is for the chickens, but this is what the bread will look like. Put some butter on it. <laughs> put some butter on it. Oh, good grief. My mom hand washed and then put in a dishwasher. That's what I'm, and see, that's what I would do. Hand wash them, then put them in a the dishwasher. So I might as well just hand wash the dishes. And then I trust myself when I hand wash. It's just like me driving. I don't trust Bobby. <laughs> I don't trust Bobby driving. When we were coming down the mountain, he said, you want me to drive? <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. I want to live. And I don't want to have to be holding on to my pants to get to the bottom of this mountain. Sometimes I think he forget that he is a retired police officer. And something in his head will click. And he feel like we need to chase somebody. I feel like that's what we're doing. And we ain't chasing nobody. So I'm like, let me drive. I got this. The few times I've had a ride with him were when I had surgery. I had a blowout with my, sci <laughs> with my sciatic nerve. Bobby had to drive. But leaving the hospital, I was so high off whatever they gave me to help with the pain. It didn't matter. Hey, Ola Joe. Ola Joe. I've been spending some time over there watching because I'm trying to learn how to knit and crochet. That That's one thing I don't know how to do is make our own clothes. I will learn. Though. I will. Hey, Ola Joe. Um, I so get that. Absolutely can't drive with my son. They act crazy. Look, we went to Orlando. Um, one of Bobby's um, co-workers that retired we went and visit him and his wife and they wanted to go out to eat. So he drove. <laughs> his wife was like, uh-uh, Bobby, you get in the front with him because I can't ride with this man. And he was like, I got, I got, oh my God. Like, I'm in the back seat with my phone. Like, stay busy, Sherry. Don't even, don't look up. Don't pay it no attention. And Bobby was just in the front chilling. Whoo. I cannot. I got you, sis. Reach out anytime. I appreciate you. I was terrified. I'm like, this man driving like we in the police car or something. Why do they drive like? She said, I can't ride with him. She was in the back saying, babe, chill, chill, babe, slow down. He was like, I got this. I'm like, oh my God. Can we just go and eat and get back in peace? I feel like the dishwasher sanitizer. I don't like hand washing sanitizers. So my brother is a cop, worst driver ever, totally ignore traffic laws. So that's three of us, Lisa over on YouTube and Autumn over on Facebook. See, see, baby, it's not just me. Hey, Benji TV, it's not just me. I use the dishwasher when I have company. I still hand wash everything. I, I, I get a certain satisfaction out of hand washing stuff. So I just hand wash it's simple. I mean, you know, and I know my stuff is clean. And our water is hot as Haiti. Let me see. I don't know if you can see how hot this water is. But in a minute, it'll start steaming. So I don't know how hot it gets. As a matter of fact, I'm going to check it and see. But it is so hot, you cannot put your hands in it. But what I like to do is fill my water, my sink up with um, 
sitting outside enjoying the sunshine. Sounds fun. I like to fill my sink up. Can you see the steam? I don't know if y'all can see that steam coming from the water. But I like to fill my sink up with pipe that hot water. This hot water. And my husband be like, why do you put that hot water in there? I don't know. It got to be hot. <laughs> 135 degrees coming out of the faucet the water is 135 degrees that is the best water to wash dishes with in the world my husband think it's completely crazy but you need that hot water so y'all alexa how much time left on the timer you have 16 minutes left on your 30 minute timer i can't do it i can't do it i can but i can't and I, I want to hold y'all up. So we made bread. I showed y'all what it looked like, even though this is the chicken's bread. This is what your bread will look like. Bread. Put some butter on it. Try it while it's hot. It's delicious. It smells real good. Sorry, Trudy. <laughs> but that is, um, I need this. better than, what is it, better than bagel, everything bagel seasoning, and that helped a whole lot. Let's make some burritos while we're waiting. I do need to make burritos. That is my, my job for the day, is to make burritos. So, that's a good idea, Lisa. And that's why I was like, I need to get off here so I can finish with my prepping. So I have two bags of breakfast burritos. I love these things because once I make them, all I need to do is Pull them out of the freezer. I pull them out of the freezer the night before and put them in my husband's bag. You come to speak? He's standing there laughing. He like, that he's woman can talk. What's up? So your brothers and so your sisters. Hope everybody is having a beautiful weekend. Can you speak to y'all like you got to rush and get Stuff to do. That's what I said. I got some stuff I need to be doing, like wrapping up these things for him to have lunch for a few days this week. Oh, as y'all know, we're going to skedabble early Friday morning. So I have my saran wrap. Somebody was saying, what we got? 3,000 feet. Of saran wrap, and I. Who are um, who are we gonna see on um, Friday and Saturday down in uh, Alabama. Alabama? Hey, Bobby, saw your brother. <laughs> hey, Bobby. What's up, fam? I'm looking forward to meeting everybody who's coming down this weekend. Trying to get everything done before then, <laughs> so we can have a great hey. trip. What's in this bucket? Um, juice. <laughs> so this is egg, potato, sausage. I wait till it cool off. I just added my cheese to it. So I cook breakfast. Well, this was breakfast. Hey, Indiana Jackson. This was breakfast. So... I like to keep these because this is my bag that I put my own burritos in. When I'm done with them, when I know, so y'all can see what I'm doing. Soy old brother, Mr. Bobby. 
So I'm left-handed. I don't stuff these too much because this is just breakfast, you know, and I don't be trying to put them to sleep because we need our money. So I need him to drive and not want to nap. But I used to just make sandwiches, and I'm like, I know he got to be sick of ham and peanut butter and jelly. Now, my husband loved peanut butter and jelly, but he loved breakfast, too. Everything is in there. Sausage, egg, and cheese. In the burrito. I just put them in the freezer, and um, I pull them out the night before. I wrap them in the saran wrap, and he unwrap it when he's ready for it. But this is his breakfast burrito. And he love them. You know, I try to make sure he have different things to eat. So, hey, she is sunshine. So, I put them back in the bag. And I'll put this an eight-count bag. I'll put the, this eight back in this bag. I got two bags. I try to make two bags. They last um, um, about two weeks, a little bit over two weeks. I throw them in the freezer. I throw the entire bags in the freezer. Every day I pull one out and put it in the refrigerator at least the night before so that it can start unthawing. But I just, to me, some people may rather do this every day. I want to do this today and be done. Ready to eat. I need to start breakfast burritos for the week. I'm telling you, um, it's eight per pack. So I make two packs at a time. They give us 16. Bobby normally work at least. He normally work at least five days a week. Sometimes six. But most of the time we're traveling on Fridays. So we can get about a good three weeks out of these. On the weekend, he don't eat these because I cook. So um, let me see. I see a question. When is your birthday bash? So the only birthday bash we're going to do um, is on YouTube for the most part. We have a, a giveaway coming up. We like to give back on our birthdays because y'all are amazing. So we invite Facebook over to YouTube. Um, we have a big giveaway coming up on September 22nd. We got tons of giveaways and great sponsors. Breakfast burrito. Great sponsors that's going to um, contribute to the giveaway. Seeds and honey. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff. Books. It's so much stuff. Um, one of Uncle Wayne's pushers. That's what I was using earlier one of Andale's pushes, but so many things in this giveaway. And I guess Bobby and I will probably go to Ruth Chris on Saturday, which is my actual birthday. Um, in the gift, during the giveaway, we will do a mail call because we have an Amazon wish list and we have, I have been getting presents from my Amazon wish list, which are all things that can be used on our homestead. And um, we have been getting things for whew, for a few weeks now. So we'll do this mail call and probably drop the link so y'all can come on. Thank you, Autumn. And we can chit chat for a few minutes. Have I found a host hotel for the expo? So, oh yeah, that's one thing we need to talk about. Soil Family Expo. I do, I am in contact with two hotels. One downtown Savannah. So let me back up some. Soil Family Expo. I'm on both. I can't wait. Good, good. Thank you, Autumn, for the style. Um, Soil Family Expo. What is Soil Family Expo? Some people don't know. That is a weekend that my husband and I have started putting together and inviting the world. Because we don't just invite gardeners or homesteaders. 
or certain people to Savannah. We invite the world. If you are a beautiful person inside out and you want to meet like-minded people, this expo is it. Savannah, Georgia, April 5th through the 7th, 2024 is our date for next year. We just had the expo in April this year. Um, and we do our expo a little different from your normal meetups. We have fun. We have a meet and greet on Friday where we meet and have dinner somewhere or early lunch, late lunch, early dinner. And, oh, I mean four so far. We have our early um, dinner, late lunch, and then we go and enjoy the band. We usually hire a band. Well, this year we hired a band down on the river, and um, it was beautiful. It was open to the public, so anybody was welcome to just walk up and enjoy. That was totally free um, to be able to enjoy the band with us. Dance, you had Savannah Candy Kitchen offering discounts. We had Wet Willie's offering discounts. Um, Savannah Bee Company and Huey's offering discounts to all of the participants of the expo right here in Savannah, Georgia. So it's open to the public. Anybody can come. On Saturday, we do go to Savannah Children's Museum where we set up, all the homesteaders are set up and teach, talk about, and sell products that they make on their homestead. Um, but we spend a few hours trying to encourage the kids and the parents, the community, you know, because we have visitors that come that are from out of town. So even the tourists, we can talk to them and about gardening and, and different things. But we try not to just beat that in people the entire weekend. So we do have the bands and dinners and different things. Um, dinner was at Lady and Sons, downtown Savannah. They host us along with a hundred other <laughs> participants for family style, sit down, all you can eat. All we had to do was show up to the restaurant and pay your fee, um, show up to the restaurant and you sit down. We, me and Bobby move around because we, I think we gave away about 50 prizes. Maybe it was like 60 prizes. Um, during dinner. We did a big giveaway during dinner, but all you do is sit and eat. Sit and eat. Hey, Faith, I hope you are having a lovely Sunday. I appreciate you. I hope you are too. Um, You just sit and eat <laughs> as much as you want. Fried chicken. What did we have? Smothered pork chop. Whew. I can't remember what all we had. Macaroni and cheese. We had salad. We had banana pudding. Ooey gooey butter bars or something. Um, peach cobbler. We had food, y'all. And it was good. We sat and we ate together. We did our giveaway. And then we went back downtown because we had round two of live entertainment. We had our band back downtown. And oh my God. They brought it for day number two. He made my nerves bad. Let me do this one. But um, but it's an amazing time, you know. You get to meet like-minded people and learn things and support each other and just be here and love on each other. Strangers connecting in real life. You know, we bring, I say, I always say we bring our virtual life our virtual community to life, you know, to meet each other. And then you really got those lifelong collect co connections that you probably wouldn't have really got as strong over the internet as you do when you meet people in person. So that's why we like these events. So that's why we going to Jemison, Alabama this weekend, next weekend for Petals of the Past, which is called something else too, but Petals from the Past. Um, we can meet 
like-minded people that we chit chat with all the time, you know, on social media. So this is how I do our burritos. I have eight in this one bag. I will throw this in the freezer. I probably won't even get to it at least for two weeks. Next week, we'll, um, he'll eat four of these next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then we'll have, what's in here? Eight. He'll have four for the next week. So that get this get this one bag will get us through two weeks, and then the next following two weeks we got more. So almost a month I don't have to worry about breakfast. Only on the weekends I enjoy cooking breakfast on the weekends. So Andell was there with y'all last year. Andell stayed with us last year. Then. We were trying to keep Thor from eating her. Thor is my boy, um, Rockwiler. He he just real overprotective of his mom. <laughs> so if you get to moving and around me, it's like, wait a minute, where, where you going? What you doing? You, you need to sit down. So, but yeah, Andell was here with us last year. I mean, this year she took two of the girls. We had um, a predator get to our chickens that. Sunday night, I think it was, the night before, and they were supposed to take um, five chickens home. A predator got to them, so she ended up taking only two because that's all we had left. But Thelma and Louise, our girls, two of the girls that we hatched out and um, raised until Soil Family Expo so that when Andel got here, she could take them home. So... Soil Family Expo is a busy weekend. We were crazy enough to have a new set of puppies. Nala's puppies were like seven weeks old. And that was the weekend. Alexa, stop. Okay. Alexa. Alexa, stop. So. Number four. I'm going to cut my stove down. Put mine on 375. Alexa, set timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. For 30 more minutes. All I'm going to do is put this little foil in here and cover it up. I ain't even silly. It's good to go. But my husband said I love to talk. Can y'all tell? <laughs> 30 more minutes. So I set my alarm for 30 more minutes. We are halfway there. And I'm almost done with my burritos. Some people, you know, these type of things will get on their nerves. I was telling my sister-in-law, she, um, she is the balloon queen of Savannah. She makes balloon art for parties and stuff. I said, girl... People, that is soothing to some people to see you blowing up balloons and creating these masterpieces. Stuff like this, soap making, you know, seeing people cooking, is soothing to me. I be setting y'all time off. <laughs> Grace of Fire always tell me that. She be like, my Alexa went off. A lot of people say that. Oh my God, you set my Alexa off. But I, I, I don't know. This is two packs of um sausage. I just get the roll. You know, we made our own sausage. I mean, well, we raised our own pigs, and that sausage lasts us about a year. We just ran out of sausage, so. This is just two packs of sausage. Um, I don't know how many eggs because I cracked a whole bunch of, hey, Jackie, I cracked a whole bunch of 12 eggs um, this morning. And, you know, I, I use quail scissors. So it makes cracking eggs so simple. So I blew through the eggs so quick, I didn't even count them. So I cracked a whole bunch of quail eggs 
And that's how I use our quail eggs, um, because Bobby eat about 24 of them at one time. Started trying to make my own tea yesterday experiment. Hopefully, it's a win. Yeah, that's how you learn. Even with gardening, is experimental. So experiment because that's how you learn. You know, you, you'll be forever. We we are all guilty of that. Oh, I'll try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. And you never do it. Then as soon as you do. I be trying to stay on here, but I have three phone calls, all family. So I have to. Yes. Um, non-stop talking. Might want to tell Bobby to take the headache remedy early. Look, he already know. When I go in a store, at least I be talking to people. Damn, I'm like, hey. And don't let him mention something to me about God. And that's just an open invite. He be looking like, you better come on. Okay, let me just get these last few words out. Then we can go. But I'm a woman. And I tell him all the time, I'm a woman. But I mean, my mama talk a lot too. So I, I definitely got it bad. My mama love to talk. But, you know, women like to talk. You don't find too many women that's just quiet. I'm quiet. But when it's time to talk, I talk. I talk in my sleep. Bobby be like, go to sleep and stop talking. Last night he was watching Flash or something. And I wanted to know, like, I'm, I have, I have this newfound love of the turtles, the, what are they? The turtles, you know, the ninja turtles. So I'm always spotting them everywhere. So he was watching Flash last night and I said, well, why the turtles ain't on here? He said, what? I said, why the turtles ain't on here? He said, first of all, I was like, oh, Lord, here we go. <laughs> he said, first of all, they went in comic book or something. I said, I wouldn't know. I was just wondering, like, they got Wonder Woman and Batman and Flash and all these other people. Why the turtles can't be on there? I like the turtles. And I think they would do good teaming up. So don't be leaving them out. Bobby was like, lady. I don't want turtle crazy. So, I don't know. How many I got? Three left? I can stretch this. First of all, yeah, he was like, first of all, the turtles ain't even something about a comic book. I was like, um, Batman, I don't know Batman from no comic book, but I know I was sleepy. So I said, I, I just need to go to sleep. <laughs> I just need to go to sleep. That's what I said in the video um, when we was coming off the mountain when Bobby said I was pimping and I thought I was quiet. Pimping. That's ladylike. I said, I know I'm tired because I was delirious. I was so silly. I said, I know I need to go to sleep. I just need a nap. The mountains blow me out. But I still want to know why the turtles can't be in a, in a, a show with Batman and What's her name? I just said her name too. Wonder Woman and all them good people. You know? Turtles are important too. They save the world. I'm just saying, don't discriminate. And they got a new movie out. Or just came out a month ago or something. Even though it's a cartoon, I don't want to watch it. But still, I got respect for the turtles. The Ninja Turtles started in the 90s, I believe. While those others were... Ni early 1900. What? Has it been that long? I never watched. I was never a cartoon or a TV person, apparently. Like if it wasn't Strawberry Shortcake or something, it wasn't for me. Hey, Melissa. So, I don't know. The 1900s. <laughs> but still, can't the turtles be on Flash or something? They old. I'm not into it, but my grandparents are Batman. But look, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't too crazy about all them. But I like the Turtles. I like the Turtles. I just watched all of their movies one day. I got one left. I watched all their movies the other day. 
<laughs> Melissa, why the turtles can't be on Flash or something? Like they all superheroes, right? You was way beyond tired. I call that drunk tired because we act. <laughs> the turtles are cute. I know. I know. And when they go in the store and they got them stuffed down on the turtles, I think it's so cute. But yeah, when I was coming off that mountain, that mountain wore me out. I think it was because the turtles aren't part of Marvel or DC. Oh, so that's what Batman and my Marvel. Okay. <laughs> but but look, when I was coming off the mountain, I was tired. That mountain wore me out. And what I did was I unzipped. I don't have my pocketbook. I got this cross body bag that I like to wear because I keep everything in it. And I unzipped the bag to get my keys out of it. And when I unzipped it, it said, Brang. You know how a zip will make that weird noise, and Bobby was like, I know you ain't gonna act like ain't nobody here. That was quiet or something. And I'm like, What? <laughs> Don't act like I ain't hear you pass gas. I was like, I ain't pass gas. <laughs> I'm laughing. I was like, I like the turtles too. I said, I did not pass gas, but then I was laughing. I couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't even holler at walk. I was so tired. But I was so tired because I think being up on that mountain drained all my energy because I was terrified. Like my head was dizzy the whole time. So the lady was telling me, like, when you're walking up the step, walk up the middle and don't look on the side. So I was delirious. So that and that I just filmed that part when I said in Georgia, they call it poop. <laughs> they call it poop. <laughs> I said, Bobby. Said that I was pooping, but I wasn't. I just unzipped my pocketbook. While I was kayaking in the ocean, a huge turtle came up. It was huge. Oh my God. He had a forever moment. Y'all had a forever moment together. Man. I'm always, when we on a boat, I'm always trying to get pictures of the dolphins and they so sweet. Two weeks, y'all. Two weeks. Breakfast burritos for two weeks. Alexa. How much time left on my timer? You have 20 minutes left on your 30 minute timer. That's a long time, y'all. I'm just saying. That's a long time. And I showed y'all what the bread looked like. Y'all want to wait for the bread to come out of the oven. Super simple. So that's what we're doing here today. Look good, sis. Thank you, sis. Y'all know SMJ. She ain't dropping no videos over there. But that's my sister in law. Um, what's for dinner? Rabbit. <laughs> I got a rabbit and some buttermilk and seasoning in the refrigerator, which I did that last night while Bobby was in here playing with his juice. Um, probably gonna, I got a few more potatoes that I kept out, so I'll probably roast some potatoes. And long bean. Too busy, girl, but we're still growing on. That's good. That's good. Y'all got tons of space for it. Um, probably long bean. We eat long bean a lot around here. But we got a lot of long bean. Actually, we have a few volunteer plants that came back already. So, And they're putting off beans already. So we have tons of long bean. So potato, long bean, and rabbit for dinner. I'm going to get a, what do you call it, an Instapot? I'm going to get an Instapot so I can start preparing like enough rabbit for a month. Whether it's going to be shredded rabbit or whatever. And I'm just going to cook it, put it in bag. I'm addicted to freezer meals. Cook it, put it in bags, and put it up. I used to work with guys listening to mail for over 40. I argue about comics and video games got me thinking I have a wild rabbit in the freezer rabbit stew would be great and it's simple I love rabbit stew um but now and and this bread since I made an extra loaf of bread <laughs> we'll have bread too so the chickens have their bread 
We have our bread. Bobby got his breakfast burritos. We got our apple cider vinegar started. I like playing in the kitchen. I got kombucha going for next week because we got kombucha, enough kombucha to last us to get through this week. Um, I need to find out how to ship a SCOBY or, you know, how to transport a SCOBY. I think I just need to take some tea and put it in a bag so that that SCOBY, but it can't breathe in the bag. So I don't know. I'll have to do some research or somebody can tell me, how do you transport a SCOBY? Hey, Barb, how you doing? Um, so my mission now this week, I got all of our prepping stuff out of the way, the big stuff. Now all I need to do is fix like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Bobby got lunch. He got breakfast. Um, I have to finish packing. I got to unpack our bags because we ain't going to the beach. So I can take some of that stuff out, like our beach stuff, and repack for this weekend and not forget things like Andale's honey and Miss Lisa's stuff. I ain't going to say what, but stuff. So... It takes me about two weeks to pack. I started washing, well, I wash every week, but getting stuff straight last week so that I don't forget anything. I have to pack way in advance so I don't forget stuff. So now I just need to put our clothes back in our bag. We're leaving soon to go pick up my nine-week-old chickens. My daughter has been raising them for us while I've been healing. I'm glad you are getting back into the swing of things, um, Miss Native Cherokee. I'm glad. I'm glad your surgery was a success. I always like to hear when people have surgery and it's a success. You know, it's heartbreaking when people have surgery and they still have issues. That's heartbreaking. Thank you, Resilient Dad. I appreciate you. Tapping in from the Bay. Much respect. I've been in the kitchen making banana waffles for the family. Ooh, wee. In the bushes listening. Thanks for the motivation, fam. So one of our Facebook followers sent us a recipe for sweet potato waffles. The next weekend we home. Oh, my God, y'all. So much traveling in a little bit of time. The next weekend we home. It had, might have to be the weekend after. Oh, probably not even that weekend. One of these weekends. Before we go to Virginia, hopefully. <laughs> um, hey, let's say, hey, you're over here too. <laughs> hey, Melissa Jameson. I want to say before we go to Virginia, hey, Nene, I'm going to make sweet potato waffles. I want to. And what is better than raised rabbit? What is better to raise rabbits or chicken? I say rabbits, honestly. I mean, you can get eggs from chickens if you want. If you don't want the eggs and you just want meat, I say rabbit. You will not, you know, we, the thing with rabbit, we can get 600 pounds of meat off of a pair, just two rabbits. So I'm very careful with our breeding program because we can easily have hundreds of rabbits out there, too much meat in the freezer. You no know, rabbit costs anywhere from... $15, $25 per rabbit um, if you want meat. We don't sell out for meat. We sell out for pet or, you know, as breeding pet. But they so much easier. You know, chickens are very easy. I love our girls. Chickens are very easy, but rabbits are so much easier. As long as they got food and water, they don't want to be bothered pretty much. You know, chickens are the same way. You just got to go and collect those eggs every day. If you got meat birds, it's worth taking care of them um, for eight weeks in the process. you better off with a uh, chicken plucker because you plucking them chickens ain't no joke. The rabbits, Bobby's job is to process them. I clean them up and put them in the freezer. Rabbits are very easy. So I, I would say neck and neck. I mean, they, it's probably cheaper with rabbits because you want to make sure you they just in a hutch, you know, up off the ground, wire racks, so everything falls to the ground. 
the poop is cold, you can use it directly in the garden. And I think it's way better in our garden. Now, the rabbits, the poop is hot. So you have to let it sit before you use it in your garden. Um, rabbits fertilize your garden. You can use the pelt for the rabbits to make blankets, gloves, whatever. Bobby said he was going to use a trench. He was going to make a trench coat. I can't wait to see that, but, you know. <laughs> and we're going to see about that. But we do save the pelt because we can make blankets of different things with it. Um, with the rabbit, the chickens, it costs us a good amount of money to build a, a chicken coop big enough because chicken math is real. And you don't want to have a little tiny coop for what you think you may have four chickens and end up with 16. We end, we started with six. We ended up with 20. So chicken math is real. And we ain't stopped yet. We always getting eggs from our friends and incubating our own chickens. So that can get costly and making sure it's predator proof because trust me, when the lights go out, something is coming for those chickens. So you want to make sure that they say we don't have that issue with our rabbits. At all, but either or, they are both great on a homestead. Um, if you can't have chickens, nine times out of ten, you're okay with having rabbits. So we always say get rabbits. Even quail are good. You know, they are not loud. None of them are loud. People come and visit, and they like y'all got chickens and rabbits and quail. And you can't hear them. They back, you know, on the back side of our property. They are good. Chickens is a lot of work. I have a hard time processing rabbits and chicken, but I will if some. So yeah, I um I can process them, but you know Bobby do all the beginning steps. So when we have processing day, we have our own duties. So Bobby, I'll go get them and bring them to the station. Bobby take care of them, and then I'll come back and I'll um you know put them in the plucker. With the rabbits, I don't bother the rabbits at all. I'll and throw a run tight ship, keep it all down. So they do, not a Thor and Trudy, because look, don't forget, there's a Trudy. Hey, Denise, Trudy, I call her little booty. <laughs> Trudy is tall and skinny, but that puppy, ooh. where do you get quail? We got our quail from um, a friend gave us some eggs first. That's how we ended up with white quail. And we purchased quail eggs from Mary McMurray. No, we didn't. We got them from Mashaya Farm, Zach at Mashaya Farm. I love Mashaya Farm because they will talk to you throughout the process, tell you everything. They go live. They go live and um, walk you through it all so they don't leave you hanging for nothing. I love that. I love that. Sending prayers. Miss Native Cherokee said, I haven't felt this good in over three years. That's amazing. You know, always say, don't. Thank you, Melissa. How did you do that, Melissa? <laughs> Thank you for the stars, Melissa. How you do that? I don't know how you send stars on Facebook, but I appreciate you. Um, always tell people when you having an issue, you know, we have to go to the doctor to see what's going on with us and make sure we're good. There are herbal remedies to do things, which we use a lot of herbal remedies. However, if it's something major and you need it taken care of, take care of it, you know, because it take away from your quality of life. And that's not fair to you. You have to buy them. The stars. So you have to purchase them. But a lot of people ask me, how do you send stars? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Louise got Bumblefoot. We've never had bubble. What is it called? Bumblefoot. We've never had that before. Sweet potato waffles is that Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. <laughs> Easy to make. Have fun with it. I'm going to make some. My husband likes sweet potatoes. I don't. But I will cook it for them. Oh, okay. You have to buy stars to send them. So I think they, they can't never find the icon to be able to purchase them, to be able to send them. So 
there is a tab on here that says send stars. So you can see it. I, I don't think I've always turned it on because people all, every time I go live on Facebook, they say, how do you send stars? And I'm like, I don't know. I think it's a star at the bottom, <laughs> but I may not turn it on all the time. So I appreciate you, Melissa. All my star senders. Okay. It's in here. Thank you, Denise. I appreciate you. So um, what's the biggest dog to get for a farm? For farmers, I think, oh, the best dog to get. Um, is it a? It's, I don't think it's a Siberian Husky, but thank you, Melissa. You're so sweet. Um, growing up, hopes, even our brown homestead farmstead, they have this big white dog. We got well. Growing up, Holtz got two adults and a bunch of puppies. I don't know what kind of dog it is, but it's a farm dog. They never bark unless they need to bark, unless there's something going on and they will bark. Other than that, Great Pyrenees, that's what it is. They are white and fluffy and adorable, but they protect the home. So that Great Pyrenees, that's what they are. Those are the best farm dogs to get. Now, I ain't going to take nothing away from a Rottweiler. What you want the dog to do? Yes. Send stars on all lives. Oh, okay. Hey, Sharon. So we are like fairly new with being so active on Facebook, so it's a lot to learn over here. But our Facebook community is amazing. Very supportive encouraging, positive. Now, when we post over on, I think it's Raised Bed Gardening, we got a couple people that cannot stand for us to post over there. They are so upset. They talk to us really bad, but I always say, don't let nobody steal your joy, and we don't let nobody steal our joy. So I just keep pushing, you know, because that's what this world needs more of, love and positivity and drown out that negative crap because that's all it is. The devil is busy and we refuse to let him win. Happy birthday month. It's Libra season. Libra season coming right up. Coming right up. I know I can feel it in my back a little bit. But um, thank you, Melissa. Melissa birthday is right behind mine. So hey, Tropical Homestead doing great. Doing great. Yeah, yeah. You know, the the few people that talk bad, we'll post a picture in this one group over on Facebook, which is a public group. And it I guess it drives them crazy. And they say they say some bad stuff to us, call us all types of psychopaths and whatever. And I'm just like, yeah, I love and appreciate you too. <laughs> Kill them with kindness. That's what we call it. Kill them with kindness. You know, so I'll constantly, he'll say something bad and I'm like, you know, we appreciate you. I said, I'll make sure I make a post just for you tomorrow. I make a post, I say something positive. And it might be a harvest or, you know, the fact that I cream some honey or whatever it is, but it's just pushing some some positivity and it drives them crazy. Um, all right, Melissa, thank you again. And I guess all the positivity drives them crazy, which is fine because I share the words or Bobby share the words that sometimes we need. It, if it's something that he feel or he need to say, he say. And, and the same with me, but it's always something in a positive direction because we don't know what people are going through every day. And we entertain and we have hundreds of thousands of people that see our stuff every day. So we just keep doing what we're doing because if one person feel good about something we shared or something we said, that that's it. You know, that's all we need to make sure we are doing good. We're not putting any negativity out in the world. We're not encouraging people to do bad things or, or anything. So we just keep keep doing, you know. And I always say, don't let nobody steal your joy. That go for us too. So we refuse to let anybody steal our joy. Do you 
Do y'all think buying organic wheat berry in bulk is a good idea? Um, miserable and unhappy people try to hurt people. Hurt people do hurt people. You know, it's a lot of misery out here. But as long as we keep speaking up, us happy homestead and gardeners, hey, mental night, you know, as long as we keep speaking up, <laughs> we drive misery crazy. So keep doing what y'all doing. You know, it's amazing. The Soil Family Expo, the city said, we stopped counting around 600. We were like, look, I don't know. They know what they're doing. It's okay. It's a lot of people down there. And they all dancing and having fun and smiling and laughing. And some people were crying because it was almost over and nobody wanted to leave. Even when we went to breakfast Sunday morning, we took over the restaurant. The tears, the smiles, the laughs, the hugs, the look, everybody that came in that restaurant felt that. The manager, the waitresses, everybody felt that love. And that's one thing I can say about the gardening, homesteading. When I say homesteading, that's everything. Gardening, uh, prepping, 2A, uh, crochet, all of that community is all in one. We are some peaceful people. I found you on the Raised Bed group, and yeah, there are some interesting folks on there. I appreciate your post. You guys are awesome. Keep spreading love and joy. That's what it's all about, Stephanie. That's what it's all about, you know. Spreading that love and joy. We got so much to give. We don't have time to think about the other mess. So we appreciate you for coming over to support us. You, you know, we these platforms, we do make money on these platforms, but it ain't enough to take my husband to McDonald's. <laughs> it's enough. But just the joy of meeting so many, and it's virtually... But meeting so many people and having a potential or, you know, we may be able to meet some of y'all in real life. It's an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing. And we can change the trajectory in this weird world if we keep doing what we're doing. And that's showing love to each other and having each other back. So y'all are awesome. Facebook and YouTube, y'all are awesome with that. You teach me something every day. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Thank you. Y'all give us the courage to keep going, keep pushing. Mental night. Like meeting me. I was just getting ready to say, I said, watch, I, I'm not, I, my biggest fear when I go to events is I'm not going to recognize somebody. Alexa, stop. Soon as I saw Mental Night from down, way down over yonder. I said, there go Leanne right there. Right there. I, it's not like meeting a stranger. And she was standing there talking to Becky from Acre Homestead, who is my absolute favorite. I didn't say Canna Mennonite, so hold on. Let me get it right. Becky is my favorite freezer meal person. I love Becky. Mennonite is my favorite Canna. She, you know, she'll tell you, grab your balls, it's canon season. She can teach you the ins and outs of canon. But man, I was able to meet, like, all of my people in one spot. Becky, mom, Mental Night Farmhouse, becoming a farm girl. <laughs> I ain't got no complaints. So, y'all, is my bread done? Or is the bread done? Let's see. Turn your stove off. Remember, we ain't let this sit and rise. We didn't pull out the old blender or the mixer. It's not a mixed blender. It's a mixer. I know she's speaking this year. I'm so glad. Hopefully, she's going to slow it down a notch for us. We're going to be there. We'll be there. This is our bread. No eggs. No yeast. But it's hot. It's hot. So uh, I can be a little country when it comes to getting this out the pan. I don't wait for anything. Um, I know it's hot <laughs> and all that good stuff.
And I should, I mean, not that I need to wait to get it out the pan, but it's good when it's hot, but I want y'all to see the bottom of this. Remember how simple it was to make this? You have no excuse now to make bread. So I do need to let this cool. And I'm not going to cut it now, but it's bread. It's nice and soft. It got all of my everything bagel seasoning on it. We did not use any egg or anything, you know, special. You too, Autumn. I appreciate you. Anything special, but we made bread. Somebody asked me, let's make some bread right now. We did a whole lot of stuff. We talked about kombucha, apple cider vinegar, breakfast burritos, bread, honey. We even talked about honey. Then we got it. Now y'all got tons of things to play with today. If it is hot, you know, you want to be careful with that. But I gave you a bunch of stuff that you can do inside, such as Make your bread. You can freeze it. Sandwich bread. Whatever you want to do with it. So, simple. And let us know. It doesn't matter where you let us know. Whether you're on Facebook or YouTube. We we don't matter. The good thing about YouTube is you can drop pictures over there and share things over on Facebook in the comments. We love it. Y'all keep doing that. Keep sharing your pictures and, and your stories with us. And YouTube, you can always come and make a comment under a video and say, hey, I made that bread, not for me. We understand. Everything ain't for everybody. But, oh, like, mom, get out of the kitchen. Y'all, I made homemade bread once, at least once a year. Today I'm making pizza dough for the freezer. Yep, that's how you do it. Then you don't have to worry about it. You got the hard part out of the way. Make that pizza dough. All you got to do is take it out. Let it unthaw, roll it out, add your toppings. You got pizza. It's so much easier when you prep and get the the technical things done like your bread or your, your dough. So y'all have a blessed day. We love and appreciate y'all. Facebook, we will have a subscribers live. I'm not sure what day, but we'll have a subscribers only live. We'll be live on a subscriber page on Facebook. All of our new subscribers, we appreciate y'all. Y'all are amazing. We love y'all. There is a bread video on my channel that's finally taken off. So how long has it been there, Leanne? We were just talking about that. Some things take a long time to take off. Some things take off right then. How do you store your honey? So our honey is in five-gallon buckets. So it's always pretty much in the dark, like January. Oh, so hmm, over a year. Well, that's good. That's good. I used to binge watch all your, as a matter of fact, I need to go watch your own strawberry cinnamon roll video. We don't have cinnamon. Can't see. Can you see my, can't you see my, I can't, um, Robin, did you say something I missed? Whoo, can of green beans hit five, 50,000 views last week. You on a roll, girl, you on a roll. So Facebook, y'all have a blessed and amazing day. Thor, Thor looking at me like he my boss. Like, look, I'm trying to make my aunties gravy while listening to y'all. Bobby can make some gravy. Bobby can make some gravy. I like when he smothered chicken or rabbit or pork chop. Delicious. Oh my God. So yeah, go cook. It's Sunday. It's nothing like a home cooked meal, even if it's just on Sunday. But sometimes you want to get in the kitchen and play. I'm always in the kitchen playing. This is what I love to do. <laughs> Come in here and play. Like I I mean that's just life. So y'all have an amazing day. I love and appreciate y'all. And we will see you on a subscriber page. And I'm sure somewhere else on Facebook, I'll pop on. And definitely on YouTube, will pop on. Thank y'all for hitting the thumbs up. Thank y'all for being here. I will leave all the ingredients in the description. 
bake some bread, make yourself happy. Have a blessed day. And don't let nobody steal your joy.